Pierre Rahov is a French Israeli reporter who has been covering conflict in the Middle East for 25 years and joins us now. Pierre, good morning to you. First of all, you live about 10 miles from the Gaza Strip during this incredibly tense yeah. time. So, what has life been like for you right now? It's kind of tense um, once in a while, I would say, because we have uh, rocket alerts. I just had a rocket alert about 30 minutes ago. And since every house in my city has a shelter, each time we have to rush to the shelter. In this case of this morning, I was out walking the dogs and uh, the, the rockets exploded above my head. So there were shrapnels all, all over. That's one thing to understand which is that the Iron Dome is actually destroying most of the rockets was sent to a civilian population from Hamas and from, from other terror organizations within Gaza. But when they explode, it's not the end of the story. Then you have the shrapnels falling on the ground. Imagine pieces of metal uh, really hot falling from one mile uh, altitude. So it's it's causing a lot of damages. I saw a tree burning, uh, getting on fire this morning because of one of those rockets. Mm. Well, Pierre, you are one of just a few journalists who have interviewed dozens of Hamas, Islamic Again. Jihad and Al-Qaeda terrorists for a documentary you released called Suicide Killers. The psychology of a terrorist is something that is impossible to understand. But what did you learn through these interviews? Well, it's, it's at the same time simple and complicated. Those people live in a very oppressive society. Their childhood is very often stolen by their parents. They are brainwashed in school, in mosques. They are brainwashed at every single level of their society. So the end result is that at a certain point in their life, they believe that in, all, in order to have a normal life that they cannot have on earth, they need to kill other people and eventually kill themselves because they interviewed a lot of suicide killers. And uh, think, they think that Actually, and it's not a myth. If they go, if they go kill some Jews, some uh, non-Muslims, they're going to end up in heaven, uh, surrounded by 70, 72 virgins, and they will have lakes of uh, wine and everything they cannot access to on earth, which is forbidden by their religion, would be all of a sudden a load on the other side. But I want to add something. When we are talking about terrorists, we are talking about people that I met, a lot of them who were trying to kill, uh, whether it's uh, children or soldiers or uh, innocent people or whatever, they were trying to kill. In the case of what happened on October 7, it was not only terrorists, it was a massacre, it was a pogrom. They tortured women, they tortured kids, they put them on fire, they, they, burned, them, they burned them to death. This, this is much beyond terrorism. It's no longer simple terrorism, it's barbaria. Yeah, it, it's absolutely horrific what they have done and what they say that they're going to continue to do. And Israel says yes. that their goal is to root out Hamas. But the question does remain, uh, can you root out an ideology? Can you kill it? Well, unfortunately, what has been happening in the Palestinian territories is that for so many years, people have been lying about it. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of media have been taking the side of the Palestinians without knowing anything of what was really happening over there. And in, uh, in Palestinian textbooks, uh, sometimes financed by European Union or by, or by UNRWA, you have uh, a lot of pages teaching the, the, the kids that Israel doesn't have a right to exist, that Jews are monsters and that they should be killed. So they, it's at a very, every level of the society. I believe that once... Uh, once Israel has gotten rid of Hamas and other terror organizations within Gaza, international community should put together a government, a, a temporary government, making sure that all this incitement on television, in the mosque, at school, within every single habitation is going to disappear. So in a couple or three generations, people over there will be actually ready for the very simple existence of Israel, since Israel doesn't want to destroy them, but they want to destroy Israel. It's Absolutely. a very simple Understood. equation. Understood. Yeah. Pierre Rehava, fascinating perspective from you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Stay safe. My pleasure. Absolutely.